Hey again guys and welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at these INA219 current sensing modules. These communicate via I squared C and they are very accurate. Um, that is to say I wanted to talk about this but today we have to talk about libraries. Um, so let me go over what's going on here, how to get this to work and then I will show you all the hoops I had to get to had to go through for it to actually work and my code will be posted in the description below. Well, first of all, how is this hooked up? Well, this is an I squared C OLED and this is an I squared C INA219 module. Um, also links to these in the description and this is just your standard Arduino Uno clone. And the way it's set up, very simple. Um, Basically, the UNO, the OLED, and the INA are all connected to uh, 5 volts and ground. In this case, the 5 volts is coming in from the USB connector here, so I've broken out the 5 volts there. And then these two are the SCL and SDA lines from the I2C. So every unit has 5 volts, and so here 5 volts, 5 volts, 5 volts, and ground here too. And that can be to a common ground or whatever. And every unit the SCLs are connected together and the SDAs are connected together. Now how the INA219 works is they have um, these extra pins, the V plus and V minus. So what you do is you, you put a positive battery voltage over here and that can be the same as this 5 volt rail or it could be something different. So just anything positive here goes into the V in plus and then out of the V in minus and and then you connect your load there to ground and you can tie these two grounds together if you want to get voltage measurements too. So this is actually fairly simple and right now on my diagram here or on my example here I have a 4.7k ohm resistor going from uh, VN minus to ground in the place of this load right here and I have the 5 volts the 5 volt rail here uh, coming into the V in and so that gives us uh, it's about 10 and a half uh, milliamps and that's about what it's measuring here 5.02 volts and uh, 10 point you know 10.9 10.4 ish milliamps so this thing is actually pretty cool uh, on top of that well, well we'll zoom into the module take a look at that before we go on with the code just letting you have a look at the module here. Uh, so how this works is basically these are the two extra pins here, a VN plus and VN minus, and they actually go through this, uh, I think this is, um, that is uh, one ohm with two zeros before, I think this is one milli ohm resistor, and there's a little uh, op amp and stuff inside the INA219 chip that you see right there. It goes through this resistor here uh, and then it reads the voltage drop and then multiplies it by the known resistance to, or uh, sorry, divides it by the known resistance in order to give us current and uh, then it's displayed over here. And so this V in and V, uh, V in plus and V in minus pins, they're broken out over here. So you can actually put a screw terminal on these two or you can just uh, solder wires directly to these two or, or whatever you want. They're broken out pretty nicely in this module. So yeah, this is very easy to hook up. It goes up to about two amps of uh, current measuring. You can measure a little bit higher at the cost of some accuracy, um, but more on that when we see the code. So are you ready for this? This took me two days of uh, messing around with the code. So you basically need two libraries to deal with um, with this project one of which is for the OLED and the other one is for the INA219. Now the problem is I tried to use a different OLED library and I couldn't get it to play nice with the INA libraries. The Really the only two libraries I got to work together are the Adafruit SSD1306 for the OLED and the Adafruit INA219 for the sensor. But when you install the INA219 sensors library, the only example that actually deals with both of these together is this example here, this sketch here. And this sketch is actually four pages 
And the reason why it's four pages is because it is built for a board that I believe Adafruit sell, the feather power meter thing, that has a bunch of NeoPixels on it. And the way that you're actually getting the current in this example is not intuitive to beginners like me. Code is not my forte. I had a lot of trouble navigating this. But what I did is I uh, munzed it down and I managed to get it down to just under two pages. So let me go through my code with you and hopefully it'll be a bit clearer than the examples that come with the Adafruit libraries. So first things first, you need to include both the libraries. We need the SSD1306, that's for the OLED, and the INA219, which is for the sensor. Then all this stuff, rotation of the screen, you can change this if you want to just change the way the screen displays. Um, here you're calling your, your build, I think this calls a constructor call, I don't know. This is to actually um, give a name to these things in your code. Then you go ina.219.begin, that just uh, starts the sensor up. And then, uh, this is all stuff for calibration. This was telling you, you can measure different currents. I was wrong, it's not higher currents, lower current with more um, resolution. So, yeah. Uh, at least, I think, let's see. Yeah, 32 volt, 2 amps. So that's the maximum already, by default. So we begin the display, we clear the display, we set the rotation, like we said before, and the text size and the color. So this is very simple stuff, very short. Next thing, this is the only actual work we are doing here. This is update power display and delay. I put this 15 millisecond delay just so we don't um, like try to refresh the screen too often. I mean, it's not necessary. 15 milliseconds is actually already pretty short. Now. This is in the void loop. That's the only thing in the void loop. The rest is our functions that will actually do the, um, the, the getting the current. So here's this function here, update, update power display. Here it is. So you're reading the shunt voltage, the bus voltage, and the current on the sensor. So this is actually interfacing with the sensor. Then you're, you have to uh, add the load voltage to the uh, you have to add the bus voltage to the shunt voltage uh, to actually get the total voltage. Then we're going to clear the display again. Set the cursor to, not, to zero, so the I think it's upper left. And then we're going to print the value uh, here with um, the word like amps and milliamps if it's, if it's small enough. So this is all of the INA stuff. Then down here, this is all from the Adafruit. Most of this stuff is, is untouched from the Adafruit example. Um, this is the actual function we just called here, the print SI value. And mostly this is for arranging the text on the screen. So all this stuff is just to uh, check how many characters we have, uh, treat the characters, and then uh, left and right justify them. So um, yeah, I haven't gone through all this too, too much. But literally, that is it. It's just two pages. It's, uh, it fits nicely on the screen. This is my contribution to you guys. I don't know if I can, you know, uh, publish this in, in any other way except for uh, putting it on the GitHub. But uh, just grab it from the GitHub and install it into your board. And then you will have a working project like this. And I know some of you code monkeys will think that uh, it wasn't complicated, but honestly, it was very difficult for me. So I'm putting myself in the position of some of you that have trouble with coding. And I'll, I provided a simplified version of the Adafruit example for you guys to use in your own projects if you want. Um, not quite sure what the copyright is. The uh, Adafruit was um, released under an MIT license, whatever that means. So anyways, just to show you that you can use a different power supply, I've got the uh, 12 volt Redin RD6018 just off the screen there. I have a common ground, so I grounded it. I have the 12 volt power coming in here on the uh, VN Plus. 
the Vn minus is going to this bulb uh, and then back to the negative of the supply. So basically it, it goes right, you can put it right into the ground of the board if you want. I just um, didn't want to run current, that much current through the breadboard. And when I turn this on, uh, this should show us zero volts and then the, or sorry, 12 volts and then the current. So turning this on now. So there goes the light, it is on. Um, we have uh, 11.99 on the read-in and we got 11.2, 11.3. It might be a little off, but it might also be a little bit of voltage drop in these tiny little wires. That's very possible. Yeah, I just moved them. Now we have 11.95. So yeah, my uh, my little test leads are not great, but the lamp is on, and here we're measuring you know 315 um, milliamps, and the read-in is showing uh, 300 milliamps. So this has a little bit more resolution than the read-in does. So yeah, this little INA thing is actually a great little sensor to play with. And if it works on the Uno, it'll also work on the Pro Mini. And when I go to miniaturize this and permanentize it, probably in a PCB, then at least I'll have a tiny little form factor to... Uh, to have that all set up as. So yeah, this is it for today. I just wanted to share the fact that I um, simplified the examples that you guys can have a play yourself. And let me know in the comments below if the code works for you. It should, because it works for me. Thanks for watching.